Shalom, shalom, shalom. Oh, come in, come in, everybody. Come in, come in. Let me first look for somewhere to sit. You know I'm ironing, but I want to sit because I'm trying to put a post sleep. Uh -huh. Blessed evening, everybody. Don't mind my clothes behind me. Yes, I'm almost finished with ironing. I thank the Lord, finally, my sisters. <laughs> Almost all the clothes that were in my house that needed to be ironed, they have ironed. They have been ironed. I just need to pack this a whole bunch here. Blessed evening. I come late too, but don't worry. It's because we allow the Holy Spirit to lead us. Eh? Praise the Lord. I greet all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I greet all of you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. I'm just live on Facebook. My brothers and sisters. We are continuing day four. Today won't be long, but it will be a very important one because the thing the Lord has been ministering to me about the whole day, my brothers and sisters. First of all, I greet you. I will come all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I greet all of you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of the Living God, the one and only Sovereign Lord. Shamwar, Sister Sharon. Hello, my sisters. I love all of you. God bless you, my sisters. Eh? I love you. Blessed evening, family. My brothers and sisters, today has been like I was busy, but the Holy Spirit said you shall do it just before you put your children to sleep in the evening. Makeup and wigs. The Lord was ministering to me the whole day today. He said something that maybe a lot of us don't know. Makeup and wigs lead to make-believe world. Make believe world is a form of AI. Have you seen what is happening? This, uh, you know how it moves. Eh? It moves with painting yourself. The people who are make up in their selves every day, beating their face, they are not different with the people that are on TikTok doing AI. Hello, ice cream. Hi, hello, ice cream. It's the same. Those ones are far left off. They don't apply the makeup on their face. They believe they are now the AI, the robot, the colossus from the pit of hell when demons convince a soul that they are a robot, robot with blood. This make-believe world is becoming dangerous and will be very dangerous and will bite back you, me, and our children's generation. Because have you noticed what is happening? Today I laughed. The Holy Spirit allowed me to laugh, but he said, look at how far you are as a generation. Look at how lost you are as a people. You know what I watch today? I watch Bini AI. Sister Bevar, good evening, my sister. Bevar. I watch Bini AI. Ibo AI. Jamaican AI. I've just not seen my own Zambia AI. My brothers, I laughed, but I looked at it as, oh my God. He's got some filled up with the plastic of the fakeness of makeup. And he's got some living in that same belief that they are robots. Ambassador Tibon, hello, CC, good evening. God bless it, evening, daughter of the Lord. Do you see how far we are lost as a generation? I had to laugh, but at the same time, I felt so much. I felt pity for my generation. My brothers and sisters, makeup and this AI business that you are seeing online, they are just the same two in the realm of the spirit with the devil. Yes, that person that believes that they are a robot and an AI, they also believe, just like you believe, that you are beautiful when you plaster yourself with those things. Like you need them. I thought it was a joke. I begin to watch. I think all of you have heard of Java. Java do Java. Now that one, B. <laughs> AI. I don't know which country she come from. Hello, hello, ice cream. Oh, roses, <laughs> roses. Java go do AI with a, a Nigerian AI who was like a ghost on the face. Jesus preached to me through the nonsense I was watching. Holy Spirit begin to minister to me. Have you ever seen Nigerian or Zimbabwean AI Shamwari? Hello, hello. Na AI. People sit for hours behind. 
in Africa, while less you people are discovering about AI, your friends are ahead. They are now running away from AI in America and in Europe. They are getting ready for what is coming in front of us next. Africans are online. And their influencers have become the, 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 the tool that the devil is using. We are in time where people need to be awake. But because you are so vanitalized up, you cannot see all of here. And that's why when we tell you that that makeup is not good for you, a lot of people have seen your comments in the videos. You like to encourage yourself. That God doesn't look at the outside. He doesn't care. If God looks at, he doesn't look at the outside. He doesn't care. So why do you care? If it's about the inside. Why do you care so much? You know, God don't need it. It will not win you blessings. It will not give you favor. It will not bring you enlightenment. And it will not bring you spiritual understanding. Why can't you live without it? And that's where we are lost. My brothers and sisters, we need to pray for Africa. Our friends, they are dealing with a... a, a, a with academics and level of understanding to where they actually know what is coming in front and they are getting ready. We are online, black people, Jamaican AI. What a guan, what a guan, gang, gang, gang. Me feel good, me feel good. I said, Jesus Christ, stop that, that let come down, no. Brother, and sister, everybody, when I heard the Jamaican one, I thought of you and Lidet. Ah, <laughs> Jay. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, make believe world is makeup, is fantasy. And in this generation, we are past fantasy. We are past make believe. And that's why now, why are you surprised that men want to believe that they are women? Are you surprised that we are sitting together in toilets with fellow women going to toilet with, with a men and men believe that they are women. And this generation make believe we are living in a world of make believe, which is a very disobedient thing towards God, because that's why the people of the church should have left this thing so that you can win souls and transform others. But you do not get it. We are living in a make believe world, make believe world. A man can believe is a woman and he can live like a woman. A woman can believe she's a man and she can live like a man. Make believe world that human beings believe they are robots and AI and they do it. Which human being would want to be a robot? Because a robot is dumb. It might be intelligent with man-made knowledge and understanding. You are wiser. You are wisdom. Because the, the wisdom and the knowledge of God surpasses all man's understanding. The AI can't beat you. But we're in a make-believe world. Now make it believe. Programmed, Sister Sharon. Programmed. Programmed. That's why it's not strange anymore. When I saw a Igbo AI. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Modupe, I had to laugh, but it made me cry too. I said the devil will produce it. Think of it, imagine it, devil will produce it. Let me tell you, as men, God has already, has already given us the margin of imagination, creation, and what we live in. When we start getting out of the real reality of the spirit of God, and we start going into make-believe. You have left Jesus already. Makeup is make believe. Make believe that when you put it on, you are beautiful. And I see a lot of you women who keep telling me, comb your hair, this and that. Oh, I told you, meet the real me. If you don't write the real me, forget it. Forget it. My brothers and apostles, ne, kapa me. Kapa me in the name of Jesus Christ. Come up now. It's time to go to bed. Allah. Don't try me in Jesus' name. Now, no make believe here. We don't have AI. I'm not going to tell you, stop crying, stop crying. No, 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 no. Now, go rebuke you. Very soon, you're going to have an AI apostle, AI prophet, AI evangelist, AI worshiper, AI minister. 
And it's the same thing, make believe the people that say they love Jesus. They're on the streets. On the street, they sing praise and worship, and they also sing wild music. They use their talent to save both masters. You are a liar, you can only save one master. Who are you saving? Because the one you are saving is a make-believe kind of God. We are living in a make-believe. Make-believe. And that's why don't be surprised when you see Jamaican girls and African girls, a, 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 American, European girls, young girls dying on the table. Make-believe. Make-believe that I was born short, but I can be made taller out of the instruction and will of God. Make believe that I was born with a flat niash, but I can go and sit under a knife and I'm going to get a big implant. I'm going to have a big niash. Hmm? Can you believe? Make believe that I can wake up in the morning. I'm, I'm like this skin. In a month from now, I could be light. Make believe. If God wanted it like that, why didn't he make it like that? Why didn't we come out with makeup already? Like the way we came out with eyebrows. With hair. Skin tones that we have. And to Africa, I feel sorry that African leaders do not understand the power of internet. Well, it's your friends, they are youth. The ones are doing AI in Africa, their friends here are buying homes, settling down for land, actually preparing like they know what is coming ahead of us. And the so-called born-again believer in Africa is still in make-believe land. We fill the whole church up, dressed up in vanity from head to toe. But you don't even have a, an idea of what is coming ahead of you. And you always think the white people are smart and ahead of you people. They create a make-believe world. You live in it while they are getting themselves settled. I cannot look at you down and I'm not talking to women of the world. I'm talking to women in the church. And there is nothing like God doesn't look at the outer appearance and that God doesn't care. You are a liar. That's the voice of the make-believe world telling you, you can still save God. I'm sure Java knows God, the AI girl that is now being famous. I'm sure she knows God. I'm sure she goes to bed and says, praise the Lord. Glory be to God. I'm sure she does. But she sits in, behind that computer and thousands of people and look at how stupid Africans are. Come on now, guys. Let's, let's bear him. Come on now, guys. Now money they are collecting from you. To steal money from you in a make-believe world. People could not even scam you in real life. They scammed you in make-believe world. In hell world. Now where they come and collect your children money? <laughs> Computer, they pass man knowledge. Computers that collect man money. Go for it. Go for it. God forbid. Your children's money is going. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Yum, yum, yum. I love it. Yum, yum, yum. I love you. I am AI generated computer. I said, Jesus Christ. We are really in the end days for human beings to sit a bunch of grown people, married mothers and fathers, to sit behind, to be doing that. People who are doing that, some are working in banks, they are behind computer. They are enjoying, hey, 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 gang, gang, gang. Yeah? And if you put sense of, of humor, comedy there, you can play people, mumu. They don't even realize what you are doing in their face. Look at this one, they go, go, come. Hey, 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 Nami, Nami be Pele. Pele, Pele is another Nigerian AI. Now, ghost human being, gay, straight, in between, or sexuality. Make belief world. You're watching your friends act like the dumbest level of all creation and anything that life has ever seen. You created the computer and the computer has gotten smarter than you that it's making you look like you are its 
little pusito now. Biaku, 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 biaku. Eh? Computer don't have to do work anymore. Man do work for computer. Man work for computer now. AI has become more smarter than man. Who was created first? Man was created first before AI ever came to, to creation. And I heard in the power, in the, in the power of God and in the word of God, he said, I have given you power and authority over everything that is under this earth. Now you have become subdued to the power of, of this world. This world ruling you. But we are going to church. We are praising every day. We are women of God. I laugh at the women of the, of the, of the world. But women of God. And don't get petty and say that I'm judging. I'm supposed to judge you. What do you think they called me apostle? I was here to come and correct you. If you don't want to be with Jesus, you don't want to be corrected by Apostle Rachel Botter, daughter of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Move left. Go and join AI. Because even when I rebuke AI, AI cannot talk back to me. Even AI know that Jesus is Lord. It's you who don't know. That's why AI making you do her dirty work. Make belief world. You have killed your friends. It started with wigs. Makeup. Fake news. Look at where we have gone. Especially fake nails, they have this Jezebelic demon spirit. Have you noticed mothers with their children with these fake nails? Do you, tomorrow we are going to get deep about nails and through the scripture. Do you know what nails stand for? Do you know that? We shall learn. My brothers and sisters, now so we be. Sister, dark, cho uh, dark chocolate gray. Sister, check the baby's head. My sister, I want to tell you something. God is really good. If we really respect one another as women, when it comes to things that are not spiritual, we are going to have boundaries because that's no spiritual inclinement. That's just moving in order and knowing your place. You cannot tell me to check the baby's head when the baby is on my back. This is when you think you can teach your friends better. But if you were a real woman, like the way I look at other women, I go to people's pages. When I'm there with Modupe, I'm focused on what Modupe is saving us, the Holy Spirit saving us through Modupe. I'm not focused on other things. This child is comfortable. And that character and spirit is a bossy, no mind your own business kind of spirit. And because of the way it starts, it starts very simple. This is why some of you, you have made women not want to have women friends. You do not know your own boundary. We are in the presence of the Lord. And we know when it comes from care and love. Sister, dark chocolate gray. This has nothing to do with care and love. It just has to do with, you can do it. You see, when you have the power, you feel like you can do anything. You don't think. There is a way that seemeth right to man. The smallest simple things is the reason why some of you are not blessed. Because you actually never even think. The fact that you do not know how to protect your own territory and stay in your lane. It's very easy to enter people's presence and speak anyhow. But for me, because God has lent me something, that's why you will never find somebody talking to me anyhow or doing rubbish with me anyhow, because I do not start. I do not move in a way that I'm going to be rebuked. I move according to the way of God. And if I'm rebuked, I even know that I they make rubbish. But a lot of you, like our sister here, you full of yourselves. And that's why God cannot introduce you to anything. Your eyes are not focused. If you are going to see Jesus, in a narrow path, if the Lord said, just look at me, and there are cars here, there's a lot of things. Jesus said, look at him. My sister, the Lord said, look at him. Because this is why women are not coming also online to minister. You are full of yourselves, black women. And you like to underestimate your friends. Well, I protect my territory. In the presence of God, we are all allowed to enter. But in my house, we are not allowed to. In my life, we are not allowed to. In my children's life, we are not allowed to. That's because I they be wake up for heaven. I never became commoner for no man, not even for AI, not even for Satan in Jesus. Do you understand? So I beg in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Next time, think first. Why does this bother me? Because now you people who they bring friction in your friends, there are certain things that as women of God, before you even see it, ask yourself, which spirit showed me that? Because the spirit of the Lord, that deeper spirit, and he mind himself. He mind, he don't go for, like I say right now, he do not go for makeup where you people should feel good or look good. He go for the deeper substance, your salvation. Do you understand? And this is why women are not coming to the altar. Because when women stand at the altar, now all those shows, I call them prostitutes from the pit of hell. They like to talk, 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 talk. I don't insult. If you ever get any insult out of this mouth, just know that the spirit you came with, ask it well, well. Why did Apostle Rachel Bota call me or Rachel or this? Even God will tell you. That's how I treat demons. I treat them like my, my, my footstep. I drag them. Because you know why? They always make my sisters look like they think they are better. Unga, unga. That's why God did not choose some of you. And that's why also God did not give some of you big nyash or big breast. He was saving you. But it is the make-believe world that told you to go and get big implant and big breast. Some of you cannot have the structure of a uh, Sharon and Ambassador T-bone, Tembes. Fine hourglass, long leg, nyash, hip, thigh, gap. God did not give you that because you know why? In you, we do. That will be the thing that will kill you. If you're a woman and you're flat nyash like me, just praise the Lord because the Lord knew that the pride in me would have probably killed me. Because I've been walking with Nyash like this. Because you see, most of the people who want big Nyash, now the people that Jesus sent from heaven to eat through their mother's womb with no Nyash. Now make believe world. And they say, go get Nyash. She now stripping. She's a Kadibi. Raga, taga, taga, taga. Fake Nyash. He didn't bring her the pit of hell. You understand? You understand? So my brothers and sisters, let's move in order. Don't move like an AI. Computer don't have manners. You didn't open five window screens. Stay on one, oh. Stay on one. And the deeper thing today about this thing that I'm telling you about makeup and everything, some of you like me, you don't know why God gave you a pigment like this. It was to save you. Because in a woman is a rooted spirit of pride. Some of you don't have hips. Some of you are flat. When you see a woman built like a man, just know that God knew that her spirit, her pride, her spirit, her pride. Z farmer, my sister, the Z farmer. If you have my talk of you very the way you have big nyash, my sister, like that. The Lord knew that that nyash will not be naked anyhow. Look at all the women that are exposing nyash, make believe God to the whole world. Now, women who came from their mother's womb and father's womb, like me, let me stand here, flat like me, oh. they came like this. This girl now, let me show you how she, they look, oh. oh these girls are ridiculous. <laughs> God was saving you from prostitution. Me, I know it, oh. the reason why one leg was in Morocco, one in Bangladesh. God knew it. God knew it, looking like a chicken that ran into a transformer in hell and they sent it out from the grill. Nobody, even the demons, refused to eat that chicken. <laughs> if demons refuse to eat your nyash, it means you are really bad. What do you want the Lord to do? Please excuse me. Stop giving God headache. You do rub it. Now you look like this. You look like this. Now so you look. With your giraffe legs. The body is in it. The niash is in make-believe. And you want these two words to come and live together. Hello. <laughs> hey, I. I have seen Igbo. Hey, I, Igbo. Benin, AI. Z farmer. I'm just waiting for a uh, say Zambian AI. Mionga, mianga, mianga, mianga. Ice cream, chia ice cream. Mm. You will see. You go go. Give it two time. In fact, I've already exposed the idea. Now two weeks from now, we will see. Zambian AI. When the Zambian AI come out, I'll come and host that party so we can meet our Zambian AI. Make believe. The demon that I'm about to flog. 
Yeah? But Jesus was saving us. Some of us, you know why we have small breasts? Because look, when you went under plastic surgery, all you do, your breast and your waist corset, they smell each other. You can smell the breast. The breast and the milk that you took in 1976. You can smell the breast. The breast in between. That if you do like this, you could breastfeed yourself. You could suck on your titty. Make belief world. And it has no limit. It makes you feel. That's why some women, if they stayed the way God created them, they would have had good lives. But the thing that God did not give them, makeup, fake hair, it made them even go under plastic surgery. Z Farmer, my sister Sharon, I know Zambians who have blast a, a breast impl a implants. She was not sick. She wanted it strong. And she wanted them big. But God said your body is a fountain of life. And life is not the same yesterday and the next day. You breastfeed, something has to show. When you get a big stomach, they are going to try to lose the stomach. But Jesus told me, I wish you knew the glory of a woman. There is unhealthiness you can get healthy. But not this one. Not this one that is happening in church. You are looking around and you know, you can never, the, the difference, and maybe some of you can be fooled. That's why some men who accidentally pick up a transgender woman and who was dressed like a woman and they didn't see it. You need to be rebuked from that demon or slumber demon because the Lord created you with knowledge and wisdom and you should be able to distinguish and tell. That discernment, if it's not working for you in the realm of the spirit spiritually, it still is discernment in wisdom and knowledge. That's why people are able to know. This one be Toto, this one be Pinas. But because you are so in make-believe world, People cannot even tell the difference between a man and a woman. Shy. And when your conscience is awake, especially you black men, you come out of the make-believe world. You want to kill that fellow man. If you were really a human being, robot can tell which is transgender. AI is able to tell which is transgender, even in algorithm. You, you could not tell, and you're a human being, and you are pumping with blood, which is the blood of Jesus Christ, because there's nobody who is carrying blood on their own here. It's the blood of Jesus Christ, whether repentant or not. Life is through Jesus Christ. It's the way, the truth, and the life. Hello? But when you enter church these days, I want love because it's not funny, but foolishness. What you want me to do? Me, I'm just real. That's what they say. Apostle, you are too direct. This and that. What you want me to do? If people are going to practice surgery, sitting under surgery for hours, and you come to church, what I find funny is when you go to strippers, when you see Kadidi, you know that Kadidi don't carry no real nyash. Wait, let me show you. When you see her, she there with her fake nyash. Now her business for Kadidi. That nyash is a company. You see her start doing. Pakaran kam. Go, go, ga, ga, ga. Na kadibi dua. You see how the leg of kadibi, the nyash. Kadi, I'm not coming against you, Master. I'm giving you an example. If you are with a BBL, a fake nyash, never ever come and complain. And those of you are reporting my page, like the Kardashian fans, you almost, you got my TikTok block. But I appealed, I'm still waiting, and tomorrow I'm coming on live by fire, by force. You'll be surprised. Don't get angry. Nobody escorted you to the hospital. Allow us also to speak what we see with our eyes. It was your choice, too. And the, the women of the world, I go leave them. Let's go to the women of church. Kadibi, let me leave you. You have not received Jesus. When you receive Jesus, I will rebuke you well, well, and I will, I will help you to actually develop a deeper relationship with Christ. But... These ones that are in church, I want to ask. Eh? These ones that are in church, pastor wife, looking the same like Kadi B. And you're walking around at the altar. Me, that's why I tell the Lord, I say, Father, I'll go to church. 
And you know, when you go to church, you want to concentrate and stay in spirit. Lord, even the spirit has seen that this nyash is fake. You are first. Come on, praise him. And Omega. And when you do like this, sisters, we what the, the fake nyash, pastor wife with fake nyash, apostle with fake nyash, breast implant and fillers. Is it for the church members or is it to welcome the Holy Spirit? What power does it anxious in that fake nyash? I says, let me take this fake nyash out. And I feel like my underwear about to drop up. God forbid. God forbid. Go to God forbid. Let me carry the go. Yes, so my body never was proportioned for big nyash. The day I would do it. <laughs> I see look like hyena, hippopotamus, and uh, 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 what animal? Hyena, giraffe, gorilla. And hippopotamus in one animal. The Lord never created such an animal. But in hell and make believe, you define them first with hyena, body like a gorilla, <laughs> hand and feet like hippopotamus, and is walking out here on the eight, looking like a deflect demon from the pit of hell. Some things you see it once, your whole body, everything trauma. It's okay, let it sound the way. In fact, I mean it. My sisters, everything I will say, thank you, Sister Bowen. I, a lot of women are saying I'm rude. <laughs> Especially if you're a born again believer. What you want me to do as an apostle? You want me to fake it that I didn't see you with that fake nyash? Eh? You want me to lie? With your makeup and all of the things, it's so disturbing, especially when you're standing at the altar. The whole entire time you're just fixing you. You cannot even enter into praise. The foundation, <laughs> it'll be coming down. Especially those of you who wear cheap makeup. Oh my God. The people around you don't love you because they don't tell you the truth. Because it looks ridiculous. When you are praising God. And all of a sudden, when I see that drop, you start to think now, Holy Spirit or the blood of Jesus. Huh? Now, Holy Spirit or the blood of Jesus. Excuse me. Eh? Now, Holy Spirit or the blood of Jesus. Tell us. Eh? I expect that in the world. I've been to strip clubs. That's their aim. In the powers of darkness, how ridiculous and stupid you look, how pleasing it is to devil, but not to God. Not to God. Jesus cannot even see the people he created the way he created them. Even your friends that are selling you this product. It not be that the white race still keep their skin color. You see why God never made makeup for you. When they put makeup, you cannot even see that it's makeup. It look like their skin. Our black skin, I'm sorry. Hmm? And if you thought makeup was confidence, you're a liar. Makeup is weakness and fear to showing the true you. And if you felt that you are, you are actually beautiful the way you are, praise the Lord. But if you felt that you are beautiful the way you are and you still apply makeup, and when you see women, authentic daughters of God, anointed, felt with the power of the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, that heaven is right here as I stand with me. You dare come to our face and tell us what? I said, what did you say, Jezebel? Did I hear something, my sisters? Come my hair. This one is called the vineyard of the Lord. Excuse me. It's intentional. I love it like this. And when I feel it from my scalp, the way it's growing, ah, I'll comb it whenever I want. If I comb it, I comb it. If I don't comb it, no problem. And there's never a day that my father has asked me, Ada, why didn't you comb your hair? Ada, why didn't you dress well? Hmm? Praise team. They are fighting every Sunday to live in a make-believe world. Yeah. The competition that I have seen in church of make belief. <sighs> ah. 
you better wake up. Tonight I will not stay long. Tomorrow we are going to start with how you call it? Acrylic nails. Somebody says trousers as well, sis, are not for ladies. That's a lie. Go and read the Bible, my brother. If you are a dumb man, don't speak. Where the spirit of the Lord is speaking through somebody and you are dumb, don't speak. You better shut your mouth because it shows your uselessness. The trousers that God is talking about, I'm going to show you tomorrow. It's just that I came late today. I have one trousers that the Holy Spirit told me to keep while I was throwing clothes and doing everything in my house. I want to show you what the trousers do. The trousers that God hates is the seduction condoms. There's a difference between a woman wearing a jean trousers and a shirt that covers her niash. And there's a difference between women that are wearing, they are not trousers. We have condoms these days. You know the ones I'm talking about. The Sharamwana trousers. And that's why I want to ask the women of the, of the church, if you are really about Jesus Christ, why are you looking like Sharamwana? Why are you looking like Sharamwana? Excuse me. Why are you looking like Sharamwana? Sister Rebecca Kalinga. Sister Sharon, can you block Sister Rebecca Kalinga, please, in Jesus' name? Block Sister Rebecca Kalinga in Jesus' name. Sharamwana did that for her week. And Sharamwana was loved by presidents, kings, men in high places. Because they knew when Sharamwana came, Mwana chin, papi, Mwana mutegeta. Sharamwana knew what she was selling, and you cannot condemn her. She knew who she was serving and what she was putting out there. Now you women of the church, you are dressing exactly like Sharamwana. The only thing left with you people to do is at the altar there instead of singing you alpha, just start singing Mwana Chimpapi, Mwana Muteketa, Mwana Chimpapi, you can just start now, start now my sisters. The Lord tell me I should tell you, start now. If I look mad, now so we look in church. And you think God is keeping people away from church. It's intentional. There are some people who are weak. They cannot stand even to be in church. Because the oozing of sex. The smell of sexual morality. And you people cannot tell me you don't see. You even see it sometimes. Pastors looking at praise worshippers. When she gives him the microphone. Like he has already entered the total. Yeah, Sister Mary. Ah, Yes. This sister, now so when he touch her, they are feeling one another. He be, that's why some pastors better be wearing African trousers and a Nigerian bubu. Because we see the penises at the altar. I told the Lord, I said, Father, I cannot handle this. And me, you gave me one fast eye and one slow eye. One eye, the descend, it is the slow one, the zoom in, and it take time to look at everything slow, slow. Before I know it, Lord, they remove me from your presence. But I know that God allowed me to see it too. You think God doesn't see it? And church members, you know it. The, the, the pastor wives of these days, they look like Sharamwana. Ooh. They make other women, especially people like me, who have breastfed three men, breastfed three boys. You don't have breasts. Yeah, 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 yeah. They can make you feel like you're in the wrong place. They make us look like tomboys. They make us look like we are Victor, the victory boy. I'm telling you, they look at us like Victor. They could just remove our Ara name and call us Victor. Victor, they look at us like you. That's how they are making us look. Because you know why? The make-belief is too much in the church. The fakeness, the vanity is too much. When a person like me is saved, I go to church. I'm so low self-esteem. I'm seeking for salvation. And the place where I'm supposed to go and seek salvation, at the strip club, the reason why strippers go under plastic surgery to get big niashes is because the Katibis, they don't want to be made fun of. They also want to be known as the Jessica Dime. They want to be known as the big stripper mama. When they call you that they put a ring in between your nyash and your nyash, they move. Boom, 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 boom. It'd be like a, 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 a continent on its own. Because you know, make believe. 
The niash is in hell. The body want to live on earth. So it's something that can never happen. You can't live on earth and in hell at the same time. You get it. If you don't get it, forget it. But that person enters church. The women who are supposed to speak to her, starting from the pastor wife. And you didn't know this. And a lot of you say it's not your responsibility. But Victor, tell your sisters next time you preach and tell your brothers that it is our responsibility. If you move somebody far away from the presence of the Lord, you corrupt somebody and mislead them. I will be punished double if I mislead other women and men out here. It is your responsibility you receive Jesus. And the moment you said, yes, I do to serving Jesus, you stopped living to self. You wanted to be an example and you have to be an image of God. So when people come in church, imagine Sister Sharon, somebody who is broken, who has been raped, abused. Eh? Yeah? Eh? Yeah? Hello? Imagine somebody who has been through a lot, calamity, all of that. Eh? Yeah? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Can you imagine, my sisters, those people who are not in spirit because of that, that spirit of the devil that can influence people, that person doesn't feel like they want to come back to church again. And that's why now women of the church, they are not announcing. But pastor wife, Apostles and people of God, I'm telling you the truth. Though. We can see the fake news. My sisters, tell me, my brothers, if you cannot see. It. Even you, Victor, you are a young man. But Victor, you can tell a real news and a fake news. You don't have to be out of trousers. Now look, now look. You don't need Holy Spirit and discernment. Now God create us with wisdom and knowledge. When he breathed in us, everything we needed to be able to understand. That's why our instincts is part of discernment. Hello? You are lying that you were sick. You took a trip to visit your mother. You were under a table. So what are you going to tell Destiny Etiko? Who is flaunting Yash? You can't preach to Destiny Etiko. If you are looking like Destiny Etiko, you cannot preach to Destiny Etiko. Take you and Destiny Etiko. Go have coffee together. The difference between the Elizabeth and the Mathas, the Mary, was when a woman met them. Mary Magadarena, she saw the difference between a woman of the world and a woman of... That's why they say, why did Mary Magadarena have perfume? She was using it for her clients. But that day, she took what made her money the most and threw it away. And that's why Mary Magadarena became from a prostitute to a great evangelist, a post servant of the Lord. It was a prostitute. How are you going to change prostitutes with the church that I see around now? How are you going to change the Beyonce's? You look like them. You eat like them. You act like them. How can you preach them the gospel? You cannot even prove that you love Jesus more than you love this life. Every Sunday. Today I saw the rest of the sermon of the woman who was talking about you need a wig. My spirit was grieved how that woman talked. She said, have you ever seen natural hair do anything for somebody? Well, natural hair has done me a lot of things in my life. And before I then met this man, natural hair got white men flying from Europe to America for me. Even when they never tasted the total natural hair with this same big lip. Yes, so. Masters, we have marketing. That's what the Lord put us for marry. Would have been prostitutes if he didn't marry us. Yes, so. I was someone am I lying? Sharon. This market. Sharon knows it too. She knows it too. I don't lie. Even right now when I'm married, I meet them left and right center. Hello? But these days, yeah. The fact that there's even a discussion about natural beauty in the form of how God created us and it's been even fought. I know that AI and make belief is really doing rubbish in this generation. So this makeup has moved. God is even looking at this makeup we put on our face and is laughing at us because of the spiritual afflictions we bring on ourselves through these vanity things. But we are past because AI is a form of makeup. The person that is wearing a suit and believe that they, they are a cat, that makeup they put on their face the first time, 
Didn't they put they say, what do you call women? Cat eye. She felt like she have what? Cat eye. From that cat eye, what happened? She started coming on live here. And you should see the million of followers and views they have. Just for somebody to do. Meow. Meow. Gang, gang, gang. Ice cream. Uh, roses. And they're always doing like a spirit force move. Roses. Roses. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, oh, big one. Lion. Baby lion. Baby li I saw them today even in Igbo. <laughs> the Igbo one make me laugh. Butterfly. Now, <laughs> the Jamaica. What's up? Wanna feel me? Wanna feel me? Me, I'm looking. The Lord said, look at your generation. They believe that they are dog. Meow. Now this one be pussy talk at. Meow. I said, God of Abraham. Shamari. Woo, woo, woo. I look in the video. It is a whole human being dressed in a costume of a dog. The costume costs a lot of money. The man is an engineer. By day, a normal human being, he wake. By evening, he enter the costume. He wife take him around the neighborhood for walk. Hey, Jesus. <laughs> My husband would try that Colossus, Sister Sharon. Mm, God forbid, he will never. Because I would beat the dog out of him that it would go to where it came from. And the wife, yeah, the wife is on the street feeding the man. You know who AI killed the most? Muslim people, Chinese Asian people, and us black people. We are the people from big cultures and family. This man was Chinese. I said, God of Elijah. And when he want to go to the toilet, it even have a hole. His wife allow him to. I said, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. It's not funny anymore. Make believe. I see a girl. She says she felt in her real life she feel that she blind. What did she go and do? She took bleach. Go and did everything to her eye. Until she became legally blind. My sister has seen. My sister has seen. Wait, oh, let that one sink in. Who saw that one on Dr. Phil who blinded herself? And here in the white people's area, these are not funny things. But that spirit is about to hit Africa. You see, the African men could not dress like women. Your influencers, men, are dressed like women. African people could not stand behind there and play AI. I have seen a Balafan, a Igbo, a Nigerian, South African, Zimbabwean, Tanzanian, and Ugandan AI. The Ugandan one cannot even stand to speak English. Well, well, one and give and wrong, sure. <sighs> So if that demon can make you AI believe, you know that the devil is going to convince our children that they feel they are blind. Sister Sean, you know the story I'm talking about. He said, she said she felt blind until she did it. Yeah. You should see the amount of people you will know how Africa is going to be the one to die more than the other ones. And we're going to be the first ones. Because if you see the make-believe world in the night, if you see how many African people are there, and you know what is funny? The devil is coming into Africa, putting schemes, plotting, planning evil. Africa doesn't see it. Because we are into so make-believe world. And that's the thing. If you have a lifestyle of makeup, fashion, and all of that, there are certain conscious and power about you that goes to sleep you are not aware as long as you, you fix your face 
you carry the go. Z farmer, you see my sister, your, your, your black sisters across the world. I call my sister Z farmer because you did something in our country. You proved to women. There is so much to ask women. You became a farmer. You didn't become a hairstylist. There are women asking me about hairstylists. I said, hair shall never bring you anything because at a certain point, just like in the old days, they didn't have salon. We're going to have to do our own hair. But what did you prepare for? Eh? God is making your friends farmers. God is making your friends build things that even right now, you don't see that the whole world is gathering themselves, doing everything. It is us Africans who are so much behind the most. And the reason why I say Africans is because African pastors, you are not preaching the truth. And the problem in Africa is the people that they, they, they saw that God wants to remove so the David can come and preach. They do not want to move. African pastors, you have kept a pulpit that you will not even preach the undiluted gospel to these people. But 10 years from now, you want people like the Z farmer to feed people that we all had the same chance. This woman chose not to put makeup. She applied wisdom and knowledge how the Holy Spirit was speaking to her. She became a farmer, which is not a quality thing to African women. Your friends are becoming bus drivers. Abroad here, we've got women bus drivers. In Africa, they have limited you because of no why. Because of AI. Because you are in make-believe world. You want to look good. The average richest celebrity in Africa who is looking fresh and clean probably makes even less than a nurse that works in a hospital abroad here. Hmm? My sister, you have not missed anything. Z, a, 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 a Z fam, you have not missed nothing. Miss all the social things. A foolish man, they kill his own life. A wise woman builds a state. Be a farmer. Holy Spirit told you to start farming. I'm telling you, when you started that, if I live by the will and the grace of God, I shall tell you, you see, because you shall be the richest people and don't hesitate to buy as much land and, and plant there. Especially those of you in Africa. Us abroad here, we envy you people because it's harder for us to do projects here. Too many registrations and things to dig on the ground. But you people in Africa... Everything has been made easy for you by God. Yet you are the ones who are going to be in the feni, naked, with nothing. There is something coming. Just know that. The world AI you are living in, it will not tell you. You don't see that oil, especially oil, cooking oil. My sisters better learn to start making your own oils cooking oil from avocado, from flowers, from nuts. Because oil, even right now in Europe, is almost 10 euro a bottle of oil. When I came here, we used to buy oil for 1 euro 50 cents. 1 euro 0 09 cents. So we know that oil is already a problem. You better, my sister, God has given you wisdom. You see, I'm just speaking, speaking the, what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Is it fam? You better start learning how to make your own oils because at the moment, God is about to close all that expose, eh, export this and that. It is going to be your hands work. Even me here. I'm starting my own garden on my balcony with benches. That's why I'm preparing my house. I'm not coming on life because the Holy Spirit told me I need to start preparing. Think I'm owning my clothes and putting and doing things in my house for because I want. No, the Father knows what's ahead. And I will not be caught and away. Wake up. Get out of the make-believe world. Put it down for a while. And to mothers, women like me, 
I beg you, me, I will not help any woman that received Jesus and we are speaking about these messages now. And five years from now, you want to come to this ministry. I was to feed my children. Lord, expose every woman that spoke out of boost. This woman is mad. What is what? Don't allow them come and chop from here because you said it yourself. Wherever they do not honor you and glorify your name, we brush ourselves and move. Anybody who is like that, Lord, even if I've never met him, I know you expose people every day, so I never worry. Expose them. We are not going to play mercy for people that we had the same time to get ready. If you're going to be a foolish virgin, okay, no problem. You're going to sit in the dark with your fake niash and your giraffe legs by yourself. Yes, we're going to save the people in the world. But the people in the church, I'm sorry. God gave all of us the Holy Spirit and he gave us time, wisdom and knowledge to be able. Why did you do it? Why did you do it? Hmm? Isn't it, babe? You know, you want us to come and feel guilty. No, 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 no. Some of you are the people who made your children desolate and orphans. Z farmers start teaching your Zambian sisters. Every cent they spend, which is not an investment. Homeless children they are making. Africa is still poor because of make-believe and vanity. Because our priority is wrong. Ask the Z farm. If you save money for seven months, you don't touch it. You save a certain amount every month. Put it aside. How much will you have? So as we sacrifice for our children, I tell people, if you think I'm looking dirty and all of that, thank you so much. But for me, my children will not beg. I'm a Zambian woman who lives in Holland. Their father's family, they are not poor people. They are really rich people, well to do. But you cannot expect anything because everybody has learned to fight. And his sisters, they all raise sons that are working in the hospitals, doctors. His other sister raised three girls that are working in their health as well. His brother raised a wonderful girl who is very qualified. She works in different countries. She has a special job. My own will not be the African woman who go big. When God woke me up, if women like my sister-in-laws who don't know Jesus are able to build a state and raise children and not leave them in poverty, me who know Jesus better do great. Because you know why? Greater is the one in me than what is out here. I have wisdom that surpasses all man's understanding. I will not be a big, and my children will not be. And I have learned the hard way in Europe. And that's why right now, I, say, I tell the Lord every day, thank you, Jesus. As I go to sleep and I wake up, I sleep well, well. I've got a half a million estate paid off by the, by the God of Abraham, Jesus Christ. Mm, everything. And I still live in this house and this mortgage and we're paying it every month. I say, thank you, Lord. That's what makes me sleep comfortable. That my children have got shelter. Even if they didn't have food, I know that my babies are good. And if that house in 20 years from now, it's probably going to be more than half a million. It's probably going to be two mil. And it's a big estate. And we're going to pimp it up the way we're pimping it. And my kids can do whatever they want. And I plan this flat to keep it with us. So that when my boys start going to college, they're not going to stay with us. They're going to stay in here. And they are all men. Apostle is the last child that I'm going to keep in my house. Because I'm not even having any more children. You know, my papa told me if I get pregnant, he lives in this house. I want my children, if they, they fall in love with women, if they want to marry the Z farmer's daughter, I want to make sure that they know that there is a place to bring that woman. And I want this house to be a motivation where their father and mother started and where we are going is the growth. And even them, they can look at it. And this can be for grandchildren. This can be for grandchildren. What you think? I told people, I said, do not be fooled. When you see me like this, I sleep well, well. Me and Sharon, we're about to sit down. Bevan, Sharon, you and me, all of us were about to to start building a, a small flat in Africa. I want us to start our own flat estate. Sharon, you and me and Beverly, we have to put it on paper and we're going to get it stamped. You stamped it in your country, in UK, Sharon. I will stamp it here in U uh, Holland. Bev, you do it in Belgium. We're going to start and we're going to put up money. Sharon and uh, Bev, we're going to put up whatever amount we sell. Let's say, for example, 30,000 30, pounds, all of us. We put it up. We're going to build flats. And I choose you guys for one reason. Sharon, you've got daughters. 
if our children grow, even you babe, you know that you've got land, a home in my country in Zambia. Your grandchildren can go to that place. I do not want to have land only here in Europe. I want also in another African country. So Beva, Sharon, and me, we are going to start our own Daughters of God estate. This will be from our own money, for our own children. And when we join hands together, we can do great. That's an income every month, my sisters, that we can help the poor. But most of all, let me tell you, sis, if we are flats, there are seven flats each, and they are paying us $400 each. That's a whole lot of money for our children. And in the long term, that's courage fund. Babe, we're going to get grandchildren. You and me, Sharon, we have children. We cannot even prepare for our children now, but we are preparing for our grandchildren. In case our children have it hard, their children will not have it harder because they're going to collect from us our children and their children shall enjoy from that. That's what Abraham Isaac did. I'm about to do that. I'm not about to let the devil make me walk naked. No, 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 no. Keep watching this space. You will know that I serve a faithful God. I look mad to people, but that's how he sent me. He will prove to you that I really be born of his own creation. Spirit of the Lord in me. Blood of Jesus running in my vein. And you better wake up and wake up fast. And those of you who have connections with African people, start joining with the Z farm. Give an amount. Invest money. Put mess for me there. Let me be your business partner. How much will I get back? I'm sure the Z farmer is not a woman who is greedy because the more people, the, the greater and things you can establish. Because sometimes, even Z farmer, she probably started with somebody first. And when starting alone, she bought land on her own. Where is she now? She a daughter with wisdom and she growing. Everything when starting, it looks very small from the ground. But the moment you begin, I know this. I started saving Jesus three years ago. And I can say that he has done mighty things. Financially, I cannot even talk. Spiritually, thank you, Lord. And I thank him because he woke me up at Corona time. I then had a child in Corona time. Never thought that God could re release me like that. But from that time, I have learned to live under the hedge of protection of God and to listen to him. You better wake up, my African sisters. Right now, this time, if you go to TikTok, they are full of them. And my sisters, it be like joke. Gang, 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 gang. Oh, how, how? My sisters. That how, how? It have finished. They remain on internet as meme. <laughs> Your friends are collecting bread. This is what I tell people. This internet, especially if God has given you gift where people are giving you attention, change that attention into favor. Start accumulating income. That's why some of you, you started watching us with nothing. But let me tell you one thing. God is great. They bring me 5,000 pounds every month. No lie. You. That's how the ministry survives. Sharon on my line. That's how the ministry survives. And the Lord told me, from that 5,000 you make, Always make sure two five is yours. Two five is for the ministry. So I always do it well. And because the Lord trusts his daughter, I never run out to. And if I don't get enough, the Lord goes said, I have my accountant. Let me show off my daughter-in-law. She's a rich woman. The Lord give her a lot of money so that she can give me. Her name is Devary. I'm not going to say her last name because some haters might go in the inbox or so they won't go collect my baby. It's a lie. I will choke you for my baby. I will choke you for my baby in Jesus' name. Hello, can I go? My daughter-in-law, she they feed me. She they give me everything and I never have to ask. I just wake up. Hey, Lord, be blessing that woman. When I wake up, the way she surprised me, especially when I'm shortage. Yeah, Jesus. It's like you just tell Sister Bevar, do like this. Even Sharon. It's like from nowhere. You know, you don't even have to ask. The Lord is just boom, 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 boom. And we don't steal from our sisters. As Sister Sharon, I don't make myself rich to take from Sharon. I actually don't take from Sharon because I want Sharon to be established. I don't take from Bev because I don't want to abuse them. But if you ask Bev, Bev will then tell you when the Lord does the Lord don't give don't take from her bank. He give her money specially for me. So she never take out of her bank. She will not leave her children hungry. Any pastor mm, that is collecting tithe and seed from you. Yet you have not even bought a piece of land or have a small savings account for your children. Is a wicked man. That's why this ministry don't take tithe. We give women for small business. $1,500. Eight, like that. Isn't it Sharon? We don't do, there's no account for special. Mm -mm. We do everything. 
we give to people because the Lord loves you people to be stable. Me, I don't help women for peanut. I tell women, this money I give you, go and make wisdom, start a small business. And in Africa, where you are, $1,000 is a lot of money. You know, be, if almost a million is some equivalent African money. Give me one million. Me, who can work as a maid. Me, who can work as assistant for the, the, the Z farm. Me, who they clean years before as job for all people. Me, who they work as security guard before. Ballet. Just to collect my bread. My whole life, I've learned to work and make money. I never knew how to collect money from people because I don't like that thing where you ask for money. The response, the disgrace, and the, the shame. Mm, I don't like it to be like fake nash, but for bit. I like my own. I like to work for it. And that's why when the Lord gave me this ministry, he found me without a job after I went through discrimination. He saved me from make-believe world. I told him, I said, if you give me a job, something to sustain me, I do not want to collect money from people. The Lord went to open this page, made it grow into half a million followers, started monetizing it for me. Every instrument I pay here, I even I, Rachel Bot, I can proudly and confidently and humbly say, I am grateful that the Lord has allowed me. I have never met CC Wine or Latasha Cops, but through my page, every time I use their music, even me, Rachel Bot, there be a blessing. I collect money and Facebook collect from my revenue AdSense from my monetization and they pay the right for musicians even bless other african boys that are making beats when they claim their songs especially if they have registered them well well oh that's a blessing i call it favor favor for me zippy zing zippy favor with the wisdom you get it i know people say i don't be no more no problem <laughs> the lord say i look like i be angel of the lord so no problem <laughs> i don't have to be no more for man be for your father. So, hey, God bless all of you this evening. As we are closing, make believe. Wake up. And if you have money, you want to give to a ministry. Like I say, don't give anything to my ministry if it's at the cost of your children. If God has given you money for rent, God has given you money for school fees, don't bring that money to me and say, I will trust in the Lord. Now, Lila, God has already given you that money. If I, that's what I did in the first year of ministry and second year of ministry. And the Lord told me, I know this one I'm also giving you, Sharon you. I was giving other people while I was hungry. The Lord said, hey, you cannot help other people if you're a beggar. So wisdom, knowledge, you cannot buy makeup and wear fake hair. You do not deserve it and you are not rewarded for it if your children do not have anything to stand on in the next five years. If you are a real woman of God, you know that you are not worth it. To put makeup on if your children do not have an estate or inheritance. An estate and inheritance does not come from a rich man. It comes from a, one, a man with wisdom. It comes from a woman with priority. Ask the Z farm. Ask Sharon. Ask Bevard. It comes with people with wisdom and knowledge. This Sharon and Bevard, I'm telling you they have lent me something. They are so established. I'm not even on their label. But I pray to the Lord that he will give me wisdom like that. The way sister Bev is humble. Bev is humble. Bev, from the word go, I've never said this direct to you. You are very humble. But God has set you up financially, covered you well, well. There is nothing that you lack you. You are a boss lady where you are there. And even when God showed me, I, I told him I'll never take advantage. Nothing like that. But one thing with you. It's when I say people are comfortable. Some of you, your friends, the bever is here. If they need 5,000, it's <coughs> it they come out. But they don't wear makeup a week. You who cannot even cough out $500, you have a whole wardrobe. Coco Chanel, Gucci, Vintage, Make Believe. You have become a Java. La, gang, gang, gang. Gang, gang, gang. I'm telling you this, gang, gang, gang. I want to slap the demon out of this. I join me in prayer wherever you are, all of you tonight, as you are going to sleep. That may the Lord jump AI. May the Lord jump the system of AI. Wherever there's an Africa AI who they want to make us African people look like Mumu here, in any black, including the Jamaicans, jump the AI in Jesus' name. I will be tired of them. Making my people look like, see the grown people there. Sister Beverly, some people are your age and Sister Sharon's age. And you know to give gifts on TikTok is not cheap. 
You think the man made gifts for what? And that's why for me, I don't do these things for gift too. I've got a very big following on TikTok. But that button for gift, the special one, is awful. I don't do rubbish. Because the Lord also gave me enough money from that TikTok. In fact, remember I also have YouTube. <laughs> At multi-income multi generator. Mm -hmm. I call people for ministry work, not for my own house. Mm -hmm. Unless I'm in this alert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please, my sister. My brother. Wake up. Time is not with us. Set your priorities right. Makeup can lead to a make-believe. And make-believe is hell on earth. It is living an inauthentic life and reality that God never even altered or created. And ask yourself, is it going to be part of your salvation? And is it going to bring you closer to God? If you can answer yourself these questions, then I'm sure you know the answer. If really makeup is nothing and God only cares about the inside, then let's all start coming the way God created us so that we can show the women of the world that we have found. I found something greater and sweeter, sweeter than money, life of God. He is worthy. He is faithful. And he is awesome, oh my King. I found peace where there was no peace within. I know my life, that's why I stay close with him. I found greater, better and greater things in this Jesus. And what this life can give. And all I need is in Him. For I found Jesus. I found peace. I said I found Jesus. I found confidence. See, I found Jesus. Finally, I can be me. I don't need to hide it. This is how he made me. Oh, I found confidence in you, Jesus. Hallelujah. May God bless all of you, my brothers and sisters. We are going to see each other tomorrow. And tomorrow, I want to invite all of you. It's day five. Two more days. One more day and then we have the final day Sunday to pray against this spirit of a, a vanity in us. We're going to go through scripture tomorrow. But tomorrow, also what we are going to do in the topic, we're still on makeup and wig. Today is day four. Tomorrow is day five. My, uh, I think uh, Z Farmer, I don't know my sister. You know, with children, I can lie, my sister. You know, some of us, Africa, we are still. Man, how am I? Today, agenda. I said, in agenda, I already go. <laughs> my sister, the green management at the end. I'm telling you, I don't know exactly what time. I don't want to promise, but I pray to do it when the boys are in school because you know why? I want to put the camera here and I'm going to put on three attires and I want all of you to look at me in that attire. And because you know me as an apostle, you have never seen me in nakedness like that. But tomorrow, I want all of you to be ready. I'm coming with my hairy leg and I just want to give discretion. The hairy leg are not useful. And just because you see them once for demonstration, it don't mean that you are supposed to come in and start doing rubbish. I will bind you and rebuke you in Jesus' name. Some of sometimes we have to go into, into deep to make this generation understand. So tomorrow I'm going to wear a tight condom pants. And I'm going to show you people what the Lord is talking about pants. And I'm also going to wear a long dress that touches my whole body. Because also those dress. They are leading men into temptation. If the dress, you were wearing it because you just wanted to wear it, why is it altered exactly on your niash that you can even see your caca bone? Why now? We are going to answer all those questions. And I'm going to come out here. Wear a tight bra. We push up breast. I'm going to wear trainer and show you people. 
And I'm going to go deep into the word. If you really are for Jesus, and all of these things don't matter. If God doesn't need them, why do you do them? And what benefits do they bring in your life? And as you are answering yourself, I also want you to seek God about these things. And then Sunday, we are going to pray that God is going to fill the whole entire earth. That all the women that were once like me, that were taking part and faking. Hmm? Hey! Faking, pretending, and lying. Like I did. Because they wanted to fit in. That the power of AI and make-believe and fake vanity life took me over. I became fake. But you know, when the Lord has created you to be a village mbweke, feeling funk, you cannot act American. It'd be like, America, God say country. Look at me now. Doesn't it make you feel like you want to slap the fake accent out of me? America, God say country. And my sisters, we can be real, we can be convicted. I have seen it for myself. Oh. I see this Nigerian sister, my Nigerian sister. I don't want, you know, my Nigerian people. <laughs> Modupe hold my Lego. My Nigerian sister, this one, uh, for this, uh, our sister, our Nigerian sister, who they marry American man, a uh, Kora Obidi. You know, they were, uh, last week I saw a clip of this other one, they call Freda. They were having African sisters again. The first videos I saw of Freda, Freda speak English like a white woman. But yesterday, when they vexed Freda, I saw a, a 30 second clip. Freda, they speak Nigerian people. She they became kinky, they become worried, Delta girls that Nagok. I said, Jesus, let the real you people come out. Your real accent, your real skin, your real nyashes, your real hearts, because some of you don't even have real heart now. You have painted something over that. Your real mind, body, soul, spirit. We are going to reach there. And it's not me to convict you. It's God. And you can do it though. The same way you were born. If people in the old days didn't have all of these things we have and they lived a wonderful and blessed rich life. How can we now? What's the difference? What change? Because if it's the same God beginning to the end and everything in between throughout all creation his love endures forever and he has never changed. And it will not start now. He's the same yesterday, today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Then what changed for our generation? Amen? So have a blessed night. I'll see you people. Let's not forget, one euro, one euro, we is not offering. This money we collect here, and our money we give people. And I do not like to post people on live when we give money, because when we are doing the work of the Lord, I don't see anywhere where Apostle Paul left a, a receipt that he was feeding African people. Mm -mm. The Lord knows it. And when people come online and, and testify and tell people they received something from the ministry, I'm grateful, but I don't ask. And I do not worry who don't believe me or not. Because now not man who caught me to the altar, not the Lord. The Lord knows where the money they come and where the money they go. Let's not forget to that paper. One euro, one euro. Sister Bev, I need you. I'm telling you, I have a lot of teenage mothers that are giving birth. My sisters, this is another topic that we need to talk about. Too many 15, 17 year old girls opening legs. It's troubling us, apostles of the Lord. Oh, na diaper and milk we have to buy. But you know, they are children. The Lord said, you could just like the prodigal son, you cannot throw them at that age. I never go pregnant like that. I don't know how it feels, but I'm sure it is terrifying because even when you are married with a man and having a family, it's not easy. You, it's great to have a support, but even alone, I cannot even imagine. Sister Karen, Sister Sharon, Karen Diwar, Sister Sharon, Sister Beth, my sister keep us, don't be forgetting because you know they are, the old people we can forget. But there are some of these young girls and they go back to that sugar daddy, the same one who was knocking her to go and collect money for bread. Let's come together, let's help our young sisters and women please talk to young girls because the fear of God needs to be taught in this generation. The way these young girls are taking married men and just posting them and showing off somebody's man online and all the rubbish they are doing. No mercy for other people's marriages. No fear or compassion that you are punishing another woman and putting her in stress. God have mercy. I thought we were supposed to be sister keepers, but we become husband knackers now. You want to knock my husband, I knock your husband. What kind of sister keeping is that? Jezebel style. Anyway, my brothers and sisters, have a blessed night. 
We shall all both lie down in peace and sleep for only the Lord God Almighty makes all of us dwell in safety. And I'll see all of you tomorrow by the will and the grace of God. God bless all of you and speak life to somebody. Every minute you get into somebody's presence or life, use that opportunity to share the word of God. Use that opportunity to speak life. Don't let them be left out because time is not of ours. It is of the Lord and it's not our own choice. It's not our own mind, but by the grace, goodness, and the mercy of the living God. God bless all of you. Shalom. Bye-bye.